baggage earlier in this year you don't want to take extra baggage if you don't have to into a new year we want to let that stay in 2022 we learned that lesson we're moving on from that lesson we got the notes that's all we need i don't need the book i don't need the bag i got enough i got the receipt okay i've been there all right all right so we want to reflect on these moments um as well because we also want to see do we respond appropriately in those moments now, properly is up to discussion of how you feel it's appropriate to respond to a situation, okay? So sometimes, um, you know, people joked about the what would Jesus do, but I consciously and unconsciously do want to make God smile, me personally, right? So I try to be conscious of how I'm responding to somebody else. Why? Because they could be having a bad day. I could be having a bad day. But if I'm having a bad day, does that mean I have to put my bad day on somebody else? Misery likes company, but it's not fun. I mean, everybody's sad together. That's not where I want to be. Let's find some joy, friends. But in those moments, we want to know how are we responding to the different situations of life? Me personally, I'm an overthinker. So sometimes a situation can occur and I'll circle back. It gives me peace of mind, but it could drive some people crazy. For instance, my brother, I'd be like, you know, I said blah, 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 but what I meant was blah, blah, blah. Jennifer, are you still thinking about that? Yes, because I want to make sure what I said was understood, that it was clear, that it didn't come off in the wrong way. And that can be hard sometimes for people because they're like, I said what I said. Yes, I said what I said, but my favorite thing is to think, was it true? Was it honest? Was it um, inspiring? Was it necessary? Was it kind? If I can't get through all five of those, that means that I probably could have kept it to myself. Okay, so we want to clarify and apologize for any misunderstandings that may happen, but we have to be able to review throughout the year. In what situations could I have done better? In what situations could I have just walked away? In what situations should I have speak, spoke up? You know, because sometimes we do have to speak up and assert, you know, and be um, an advocate for ourselves. But you know, I get that some people struggle with apologizing because they'd rather be petty. I'm not a fan of drama. So if I can eliminate a problem before it begins, let me just do that. And in my reflections and in my evaluations of the year, I review that. How could I have done better in some situations? Speaking of Petty, I do reflect on moments that Petty Jenny came on the scene. You know, I do care, Jen does care, but people can take it in sometimes, you know? And I reflect on my year of how many times I did allow people to get me out of character. How many times I did keep my cool, you know, and this is a good thing of journaling because you can kind of track, you know, when people got you off and kills or things of that sort. Um, but you want to know, how many times did you have to be petty? Did you really have to be petty? Or was you just being petty because that was the day you had time that day? And there's sometimes I have time too. But friends, we just want to also know that balance of, is that overshadowing more of our days or less of our days? Why? Because we're reflecting and evaluating how we did that year. You know, they have a trend going on talking about being toxic. And, you know, I even have to reflect on moments that Jennifer may have been toxic. Can you believe it? Mm -hmm. I could be toxic. Why? Because we're human. We all bleed the same. And sometimes life can get overwhelming. And it's like, you in that petty bag. You in that toxic bag. You in that I don't care bag. You in that I said what I said bag. Okay? And, but some moments can go viral. And we are quick to judge others and say, oh, they shouldn't be doing that. And we don't realize the ride that's in our own eye. You know, as seeing some things that go viral, I always say, God, please help us to see the challenges and the areas of concerns in ourselves so clearly that we see in others. Sometimes we're like, oh, she don't need to be with him. Oh, he don't need to be with her. She don't mean him no good. That friend ain't right. That ain't right. This ain't right. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't. But then when we look at the stuff in our own lives that ain't right, we just as blind. We can't see it, we can't hear it, we can't taste it, we can't feel it, because it just seems right. And sometimes if we really do take that pause to reflect and evaluate on situations, we find out that's not a good situation for me to be in either. And then we try to work to get out of it. So again, my hope is that we all can see clearly um, in our own lives what we see so clearly in others' lives. That we don't get entangled in those moments that we can get ourselves out Okay, because we don't have to stay in situations that don't bring us light, that don't bring us joy. But sometimes, unfortunately, we think we do. But friends, when I reflect on my year, I want to reflect on what situation did I get myself out of because I said, today is the last day. Okay, I can't do this. We want to speak up for ourselves. We want to learn from those lessons. 
Another thing that I reflect on is what did I learn from other people? Hmm. A friend recently got married uh, to the love of her life, and one of the gifts I gave her was a communication game. Actually, two friends got married, and I got them both the same activity. Um, and it's called Let's Get Deep. So it's some conversations for you to have. It's an icebreaker. It's a deep. It's a deeper. And when it get deep, and get deeper, it gets deep, okay? And we're talking about different things, and communication is so important. But from this game, I want to charge us to ask, how often do we ask questions to those around us? Do we just stay surface? How's your day going? And they say, good, we going about it. Or do we really get deep to these people that we say we love, to these people that we say we want to be around? How deep do we get to know that they're really doing okay? Are you even around? Do we allow the moments of silence to just sit? And then when a thought comes to mind, they get to share whatever it is that's going on. How well do you know those around you? Are they people that you really want to take in 2023? Or are they people that need to stay in 2022? Okay? So, ironically, we talked about this game um, today. I, I was talking to her and we were saying how the questions could get pretty heavy. And these are questions that we still want to ask in just everyday relationships, no matter what, again, type of relationship it is. And I shared that you don't want to overwhelm yourself with too many of the questions because it can get deep. But I shared that you want to ask the questions sometimes again in six months, nine months, 12 months, because the answers may be different. And when I'm asking you, what have you learned from those around you? When we see our friends in those different seasons of life, we get to be there to support them. Are we helping them? Are we aiding them? Are they helping us? Are they aiding us? You know, again, not just the winter, summer, spring, and fall season, but that season of living paycheck to paycheck, that season of unemployment, that season of relationship breakups, relationship makeups, weddings, divorce, the birth of a baby, the loss of a person, place, or thing. We are all ever evolving, all ever growing, all ever changing. What do we learn about them? What did we learn about us? Did we find out that their relationship was good? Because it's not until you're in a situation that you find out who your friends really are. And friends, we want to take inventory of those that we have around us. Because again, that can make or break us in the next season of our lives. Don't allow somebody that's not meaning you any good to mess up your next open door. And then we want to think about how we responded to that new information. We found out that Jen was scared of heights. How do you respond to that new information? I hope that you don't take me nowhere where I'm going to be that high again because I'm not going to make it. And the respect and the love that you have for that person shows that you look out for them so that they're not in a situation that caused some harm. Shows that you look out for them so that they are safe. They feel like, okay, this person has my back and vice versa. That that person has your back, that you have their back and that you're looking out for them so that they can have a successful day, successful week, successful year. It, 